Select the P Data Fence option. Select and expand the Use Existing Model option and enter Gamma Model.RW Mod for the model name. Turn off all the other options except for the Include Color Legend, Plot Logs, and Reference Cage options. Click on the Fence Selection Map tab. Click on the Clear button and add some panel endpoints either interactively or by clicking on one of the predefined options on the left. Once you've selected your panels, click on the Process button. Now, let's append the lithology logs that we created in an earlier exercise. Select the File Append option. Select the lithology logs.rw3d file. Answer yes when asked if you want to overwrite the stratigraphy, lithology, and well construction tables. Expand the legends item within the data tree. We'll come back to it later on. Notice that there are two perimeter cage items. Right click on the last one. Select the Delete option from the pop-up menu. Notice that there are two items within the data tree called Logs. Right-click on the top one. Select the Edit Title option. Enter Gamma Logs for the new title and do the same for the second Logs item but rename it to Lithology Logs. Now. Let's place the Gamma Legend directly below the Lithology Legend. Double click on the Legends Gamma option and select Right Side for the location. Manipulate the horizontal and vertical offsets for the Gamma Legend and then do the same for the Lithology Legend. When you're all done, use the File Save option to save the diagram as lithologyfence.rw3d.